So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create art like this. It is AI, it's a, how can I call it? It's AI generated. The frames are, so it's, it's an AI generated GIF, but each frame is generated one at a time. Um, so anyway, I had some really good experience with this using Mid Journey, but I want to see if I can do this with uh, a free version of Stable Diffusion. Um, so this is the way, anyway, the way that you get this is you search for Hugging Face, Space, Sable Diffusion, uh, version 1.5 was really fun, but I don't think it's available anymore. Anyway, um, these are free, free to use, and I'm going to be using this guy, that, um, this right here. So basically we just do a close-up of Smiling Dog in the style of this person. And let's do it. So there it is. Um, I like this one the most. Let's keep that one. Call it zero one. And let's run them again. Um, <laughs> okay, definitely that one. Both of these actually, zero two and zero three. And let me see if I can make it a little bit more consistent. Uh, here's that one. I really like this one. It's consistent. So let's see if I can make we can make this a little bit be more consistent. Um, let's go to Mid Journey. Um, let's see. How about uh, this one here? Describe. So let's ask it to describe that image, and then using the prompt that we get back, we can just feed it to Stable Diffusion to get more stable. Generation. All right, so here's what I got back. So I got a close-up of a black and white dog wearing a tuxedo. Let's see if I can get more stable gens. The reason why you want some stable generations is because, remember, these are going to go together in a GIF. So if they vary widely, each frame is just like, it's not going to make sense. It's not going to, it's not going to look good. So here, there actually looks pretty good. All right. So I'm, I'm going to save these. So actually, these do look way more consistent, and I think I think that these will work. Uh, zero three, and let's generate one more. So that's what I have generated before, and let's see if any of these look like that. Uh, that one, and maybe that one. So after saving them, I now have a total of five frames, and the last step is just let's throw it in a in a GIF creator. So let's do PNG to GIF. Um, you can also do this using the CLI, but uh, I figured this is just way easier. Let's see that one. Looks nice. All right. And I just use all the defaults, and the important one is to keep the empty loop. Uh, delay time uh, 10. Wait. And here's what I got. Here's what I get back. So definitely very satisfying, very fun to do. Um, the last thing is you may not have access to Mid Journey, so let's see if we can get that that feature using a free service. Well, let's try ChatGPT. Uh, so let's take uh, maybe like this one here. So I uploaded, and let's ask it to describe this image for an AI gener image generator. There we go. We got the uh, we got the description. So now we can use this. So we can use ChatGPT, this which I'm using the free version, to basically give you a prompt that you can use in Stable Diffusion to get um, stable frames, stable-ish frames. So there we go. That's it.